Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aquarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so in terms of awareness for the week, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Hanged Man, Major Arcana. So the Three of Pentacles, we see the man here working perhaps on the structure, and we see the people here either guiding, giving advice, um, working closely together. Maybe they're providing the money behind the scenes, but their goal is to build something beautiful, is to build something long-lasting and it takes time, and it takes compromise, it takes negotiations, and it takes the ability to work together in order to reach that goal. So this is a group card, and it's about your interactions and your working with others, whether that's in a romantic relationship, maybe it's a family dynamic, or maybe it's at the office, it's your ability to work with others. And so, you know, each person brings their talents to the table. And often it takes time for a project to be completed and to be able to see good work completed. And so the reward may be delayed in that it takes, you know, referrals. And uh, once you're finished, people may get in touch. So uh, particularly if you're a builder yourself, I mean, it just takes time for things to be completed. Uh, but once you're known as someone who gets the job done well and that you're able to work with others and to take feedback and criticism or constructive cr criticism, whatever it may be, that uh, you may be sought after. So the group idea here of working together. So with this working together with the group, here's this solitary hanged man hanging by his foot upside down, not going anywhere. He seems to be at peace where he is. He's got a glowing halo around his head. And perhaps this is accepting circumstances and saying, well, this is where I am right now. And, you know, I'm not going to try to buck against what's happening. I'm going to kind of roll with it. I'm going to let it go. I may have to sacrifice a bit of myself in order to get what I need later on. Or maybe there's a situation where you have to sacrifice a bit of yourself in order to help someone else. With the hanged man, we, we think about sacrifice. We think about um, a pause in the action. And uh, we also think about that when we are flipped upside down, we see things differently. And through that different lens comes a new perspective. And perhaps after this group situation, time alone here allows you, uh, you're in a place where you are forced perhaps to see things differently. And, you know, maybe this is just not the time to make decisions. It's just, uh, you're just kind of in this hanging moment until things change or until something else happens where you're going to be able to be released from this state of suspension. So in terms of guidance, we have the chariot, major arcana, and we have the three of wands. So the chariot is, we see the charioteer here as someone of strong will and of ambition and of drive, and most importantly, of skill and mastery. Through mastery, this charioteer doesn't even really need reins. He's able to direct the black and white sphinx in the direction that he wants by the strength of his character, by will. And um, 
it's really taking all the experiences that you've gained up to this point, and you're in charge. You're running this chariot down the path. You're moving swiftly. You're moving toward your goals or your dreams, and you're going to be successful. Doesn't mean you may not get knocked off track, or the road will be bumpy, or something may come up, but you're going to be able to handle it. And again, navigating um, compromise, negotiating the same skills that we see, see here as part of this charioteer. He's going to have confidence and he's going to be successful and may be recognized. And as a result, perhaps, of fresh thinking and success here, the recognition comes. But this is a card of success. And with this chariot, we have the Three of Wands, which is another card of visualization, of seeing what the future can be for you. This can be new enterprise at a literal level. It could be that you could be traveling, and again, in the chariot, literal level, you could be traveling in your car. You could be going on a trip. But this Three of Wands is about seeing where you want to go, what the future holds for you. What are you going to be doing? What is it that you hope to do? How can you bring your passions into the picture. And it seems that you're going to have success. It seems that you have a plan. I just feel like you have, uh, you have the vision and the big picture of what you want to achieve. And you may have gotten to this place as a result of suspending or, or looking at things in a different way. So interesting in terms of possible outcomes, we have judgment, the major arcana, and then we have the four of cups. So the judgment, we see the gray people rising out of their coffins to listen to the angel blow the horn as if they're being summoned, as if they're being called, as if they hear the call. And this card, we, we think of judgment as judgment within judgment of ourselves, whether we are judging today, yesterday, or what may happen tomorrow, we're in charge of that. And from that, we may have an awakening as to a direction that we want to go. Because judgment is saying to you, we want you to be your highest self. We want you to be your best self, your life purpose, whatever that may be, your role and judgment is the chance for a second chance, and it's the chance for a reawakening or a rebirth. And it's hearing the call. And, you know, perhaps these people here have had mental restrictions or have felt dead as a part of their life. Even though you have success, you're working with a group, you are moving forward, perhaps the next chapter is it going to take you in a very different direction? And this judgment card is important, as is this Four of Cups, because the Four of Cups can be feeling lack of satisfaction. And, you know, maybe the success wasn't everything you had hoped for. And now you're really thinking about things. You're thinking about the cups in front of you. You might be missing opportunities. So it's important to consider, to have some time out, to be in solitude, to think deeply, connected to this judgment card of what is it, how are you going to fulfill being your highest self. But along the way is don't shut yourself off to, to opportunities or seeing things with your peripheral vision. So interesting cards for the week and, you know, having the hanged man and the chariot and judgment, ideas of highest self, of success and ambition and drive and willpower, but also uh, perhaps change of course, a change of direction in how you think. So let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Purification, it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. 
you know, and the first thing that comes to mind is the cleansing here that would take place with a rebirth, the ritual cleansing. And sometimes we need to purify our thoughts and our body and our soul in order for us to move forward to the next chapter. And finally, let's choose an oracle card uh, for the week for love. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. So at the core of every decision and all the things that we do, we see the world here and uh, the, the glowing nature and abundance and it all comes down to love. So I think it's a great message. I think it's an interesting read for you, Aquarius. And uh, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a happy new year and I'll see you soon. Take care.